In this video, I'll be demonstrating how to use GIMP to create this text that you see here. Let's start by creating a new project. So go to the File menu and select New. And I'm going to use a width of 800 pixels and a height of 500 pixels. And then next select the Text tool and set the size to 250. And for the font, I'm going to use Sans. And then just go over to the canvas and click, and then type your text. And then click on the Move tool, and then place your cursor on top of the text, and then you can move it into position. And now we're going to create a path along the outside of this text. So just come over here to the layer and right click and then select Text to Path. And since we've added the path, we no longer need this text. So we can delete this text layer by just coming down here and clicking on the Delete button. To view the path that we just made, come up here and click on this tab right here that's labeled Paths. And then to make this path visible, go over here to the left side and click right here. And now we can see the path that we made. And notice that the path just outlined the text. So now come over here and click on the Paths tool. And then next we want to select this path. So just place your cursor somewhere over the path and then click. And with the path selected, you'll notice that now we have a bunch of nodes that we can move. And to move a node, just press and hold the mouse button while you're hovering over one of these nodes, and then you can just drag it into a new position. And I'm going to pull this one up here, and then I'll also grab this one down here and pull it down. And you can also click on the center of a line too. So if I click and hold the mouse button right here, I can pull this whole line down. And so I'll do the same thing right here at the top of this M. I'll go right to the center of this line, press and hold the mouse button, and just drag this up. And then over here at the P, I'm going to drag the node. And then at the bottom of the P, I'm going to drag the line down. And these are the only changes that I want to make to the paths. So the next thing that we want to do is to come over here and click on the Layers tab. And now let's add a new layer, and we can do that by pressing this button right here. And for this layer, make sure that Transparency is selected, and then press OK. And then make sure that this new layer that we just created is selected, and we should still have our Paths tool selected. So you can come down here to the Tool Options and select Stroke Path. And this is going to allow me to apply a line that follows the path. So down here at the Line Width option, change this to 8 pixels, and we'll use the default values for everything else. And then press the Stroke button. Now that we've applied a line to the path, we no longer need to see the path itself. So we can go back over here and click on the Paths tab, and then click on the little I button to turn off the path and then click on the tab for the layers again. And then next, click on the Ellipse Select tool. And then draw a small ellipse that just covers this portion of the G that's protruding out of the top. And then go up to the Filters menu and select Distorts and Whirl and Pinch. And then change the Whirl Angle slider till you get to about 300. And then click OK. And next, move your cursor to the middle of the ellipse, press and hold the mouse button, and you can drag this ellipse selection down to the bottom of the G here. And you want to cover just the portion of the G that's protruding out of the bottom. And then we're going to apply the same Whirl and Pinch filter. And since that's the most recent filter that we applied, we can now apply it just by going to the Filters menu, and the very top selection will be Repeat, Whirl and Pinch. So just click that. And then let's move this ellipse selection over here to the bottom of the eye. And then go to the Filters menu and select Repeat, Whirl, and Pinch. 
and then move the ellipse select tool to the top of this M and we'll apply the filter again and then move it over here to the top of the P and then again apply the filter and then move it one more time to the bottom of the P and apply the filter one more time and now you can turn the selection off by going to the select menu and select none and then to get rid of this ellipse shape we can just select a different tool so just come over here and click on the move tool and now we're going to apply the glossy filter to this text so just click on the filters menu and select alpha to logo and then select glossy and I'm just going to use all of the default values so I just need to click OK and now I'm going to change the background so click on the second layer from the bottom that's called background one and we're going to add a gradient to this layer so click on the blend tool and I'm going to just use the black and white colors that are the default colors here so now just move your cursor to the top of the canvas area press and hold the mouse button and drag this down until you get to about to the center of this text and then release the button and then next we're going to give this background some texture so go up to the filters menu and click on artistic and clothify and I'm just going to use the default values and click OK and then the final thing that I want to do is to change the color of this background so go up to the colors menu select colorize and then for the hue set this to about 36 and set the saturation to 26 and then set the lightness to minus 10 and then press OK and now we have our finished text well that concludes this video thanks for watching and please subscribe and leave a comment